Hi everyone, in today's video I would like to quickly show you how to edit textures in Substance Painter for 3D models that you downloaded off the internet. Sketchfab has a massive amount of free 3D models that you can use in your projects, but what do you do when the textures doesn't fit the project you want to use it for? I'm going to take a uh, house from Sketchfab and retexture it. To make things more interesting, I will be downloading a scan house which normally has more issues on their UVs, but they do however only come in general with just one texture for the base color, which would make things a bit easier for us to speed up this process of what I'm going to have to show you. This house, the wireframe shows a massive amount of polygons because it's scanned and the UV is automatically generated from the photo data. You can do this with any model that has all the possible uh, texture types the Substance Painter is compatible with, so don't be afraid of experimenting. As I've said, most models from Sketchfab will work with this without any sort of problems. In uh, Substance Painter, I will import the house model. Uh, the texture can be set to uh, 4K, that should be fine. I mean, you can use 2K if you want to, but 4K should be uh, best, best uh, in this scenario if you want to. Uh, there is already detail on the house due to it being scanned, so it has displacement data that has generated geometry. Again, this won't really matter in the grand scheme of things. You, can, you don't need to have a model that already has um, a geometry uh, made in such a way like this uh, house. What we want to do is bake all this information on itself so that we can get uh, baked textures to work with such an, uh, you know, with, with things like ambient occlusion or curvature. In the baking menu, uh, you, could, you could probably bake it to about 2K so it doesn't take too long, but uh, again, if you're looking for quality, then go for uh, 4K. Uh, so uh, start baking the mesh using um, itself as a basis as we do not have a high poly model and this building already has quite um, a lot of the detail into the geometry to, to begin with. If you'd like to know more about how to use Substance Painter then please check the video in the description below where you will find a introductory video to how, uh, how to properly use Substance Painter, how to use displacement maps, how to use UDIMS, there's a link for that as well in there. Um, and just as I said, just subscribe to my channel and you will find a wealth of information that I've gathered across from the internet and other artists uh, who have really helped me uh, get this far. With the baking done, we can now add the texture. You can see how messy it is. So just drag it into your shelf and add it as a texture. You will want to add this to the current session or project, not into Substance Painter library as you will only use this for this particular asset only. Add a fill layer in the Substance Painter so you can see all the maps you could activate for this mesh in the texture set settings. Now the fill layer does come with a few of these maps already activated such as base color, roughness, metallic, height, but you can also add other textures to it. Drag your house texture to the base color of the fill layer that you created and now you can start adding more layers on top of that. So adding some snow should be quite easy. Drag it at the top of the layer stack and start playing with the settings of the uh, snow layer that you've just added. Also, you can add a black mask for the snow, uh, so we can start spreading it on the building using the maps that we have baked earlier. Using generators, we can easily spread the snow on the building for a realistic feel. You can combine as many of these layers as you want. Thank you. 
At some point, you may want to start painting the texture manually in order to eliminate the snow from areas where it wouldn't exactly reach. Try and think about world building and a story in order to understand where would the snow be blowing from in case there was a blizzard. Also think about removing the snow from the staircase and the door as those areas are generally affected by people walking on them. Now, generally the um, windows would be covered in snow just because uh, people don't usually open their windows in, in winter. So, you know, that's just one thing to think about when you're building building, as I said, you know, for wall building and stuff like that. Once you are done, you can export the texture like you normally would to whatever software you normally use. Once the export is done, you can open the texture to see what Substance Painter actually did, which was to write data on top of your existing texture by using geometry baked information. As a bonus tip, you can also activate Alpha Blending in Substance Painter and then add an opacity layer so that you can uh, paint transparency on your windows or walls or whatever. And hey, uh, we can now see inside. I can also go inside and look at you on the outside. I see you and you see me. <laughs> this is purely fantastic. But I do hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Uh, as always, subscribe to my channel, comment, like, it really helps us out, it supports the channel. I'm really happy to, to keep on growing this because I find it very, very useful. So if you enjoy the content and you want to see more in the future, just please, as I said, uh, subscribe to my channel and leave some comments, give me some feedback. Maybe you want some, uh, maybe you want uh, something to, to be, you know, sorted for yourself. Maybe, maybe you want to find some solution to a problem that you may have. Maybe I have the answers. I'm always looking for challenges and I try to learn as many things as possible. This is why I always scour Facebook groups for all sorts of information and, and, and you know, inspiration from other artists such as yourselves. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.